This is the Music History Today podcast for June 15th. On today's show, Bob Dylan does the greatest song ever recorded, Carlos Santana's biggest album debuts, along with debut albums from The Offspring and Joy Division. First up, though, on this date in 1945, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Judy Garland married movie director Vicente Minnelli. In 1965, Bob Dylan recorded his song Like a Rolling Stone, which is considered by some critics to be the greatest song ever recorded in modern music. In 1967, Peter Green left John Mayall and the Blues Breakers. He next formed Fleetwood Mac with drummer Mick Fleetwood. In 1968, singer and actor Dudley Moore married actress Susie Kendall. Also in 1968, John Lennon and Yoko Ono planted acorns at Coventry Cathedral in England in honor of the cause of world peace. In 1977, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. of The Fifth Dimension became the first black married couple to host their own TV variety show. In 1986, Amnesty International's Conspiracy of Hope tour finished with a concert that included Bono, Peter Gabriel, and Brian Adams. In 1989, singer Courtney Love divorced singer James Moreland. In 1990, bassist Ben Shepard played with Soundgarden for the first time. In 1991, MC Hammer started his Please Hammer Don't Hurt Em tour. And in 1994, the Lion King animated movie with the iconic soundtrack premiered in movie theaters. In theater, in 1957, the musical Ziegfeld Follies of 1957 closed on Broadway. In 1963, the musical The Sound of Music closed on Broadway. And in 1968, the musicals How Now, Dow Jones, and I Do, I Do both closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on June 15th in 1998, Billy Ray Cyrus and Lori Morgan were among the big winners at the Music City News Country Music Awards. In 2008, In the Heights won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. And in 2017, Jay-Z became the first rapper to be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Albums that were released on June 15th included 1965 when Golden Earring released Just Earrings. In 1966, The Temptations released Getting Ready. In 1968, Jeremy Dormouse released Toad. In 1971, Jackie DeShannon released Songs. In 1972, Golden Earring released Together. In 1973, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released Messin. In 1974, John Denver released Back Home Again. In 1978, Bob Dylan released Street Legal. In 1979, Joy Division released their debut album, Unknown Pleasures. Also on that same day, America released Silent Letter and Dire Straits released Communique. In 1981, Duran Duran released their self-titled album. In 1982, Steve Miller released Abracadabra. In 1984, John Waite released No Breaks. In 1987, King Diamond released Abigail. In 1989, The Offspring released their debut album, but only on vinyl at that time. And also on that same day, Nirvana released their debut indie label album, Bleach. In 1993, Ozzy Osbourne released Live and Loud. In 1993, same day, Pete Townsend released Psycho Derelict and Neil Young released Neil Young Unplugged. In 1994, Golden Earring released Face It. Also on that same day, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts released Pure and Simple and Pansy Division released Deflowered. In 1995, Nelson released Because They Can. In 1998, Roxy Music released their concert classics. In 1999, Dokken released Erase the Slate. Sarah McLaughlin released Mirrorball. Cheap Trick released Music for Hangovers. And Santana released his huge album, Supernatural. In 2004, Fish released Undermind. Fleetwood Mac released Live in Boston. In 2009, Aretha Franklin released A Deeper Love, The Best of Aretha Franklin, and Queen released The Singles Collection, Volume 2. 
In 2010, Chris Isaac released Live at the Fillmore, John Mellencamp released on Rural Route 7609, and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Mojo. And in 2018, Gene Clark released Gene Clark Sings for You. Singles that were released on June 15th include in 1959 when Jerry Lee Lewis and his pumping piano released Let's Talk About Us. In 1964, Peter and Gordon released Nobody I Know. In 1973, Marvin Gaye released the song that is responsible for at least one quarter of the world's population, Let's Get It On. In 1974, Paper Lace released The Night Chicago Died, and 10CC released The Wall Street Shuffle. In 1980, Christopher Cross released his classic song, Sailing. In 1986, Berlin released Take My Breath Away from the movie Top Gun. That song, by the way, also won Best Song at the following year's Academy Awards. In 2011, Gym Class Heroes released Stereo Hearts. In 2017, Shania Twain released Life's About to Get Good. And in 2018, Blackpink released Do 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 Do. And BB Rexa released I'm a Mess. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 15th include bassist Kai Eckhart of the group Garage Mahal, Bernie Shaw of Uriah Heep, Brad Gillis of Night Ranger, composer Edward Grieg, Composer Gavin Greenaway, composer John Veal, country music singer Parker McCullum, country music singer Terry Gibbs, country music singer extraordinaire Mr. Waylon Jennings, Craig Gruber of Rainbow, Daniel Sermon of Imagine Dragons, Drayden Mitchell of Alien Ant Farm, legendary French singer Johnny Halliday, Gary Lightbody of Snow Patrol, guitarist Elliot Randall, James Smith of The Stylistics, Janet Lennon of the Lennon Sisters, jazz pianist Errol Gardner, keyboardist Billy Martin of the group Good Charlotte, Leo Nocentelli of the Meters, Michael Britt of Lone Star, Nigel Pickering of Spanky and Our Gang, opera singer Andrea Rost, opera singer Gael McKaylee, orchestra leader David Rose, punk rock singer Biff Naked, rapper and actor Ice Cube of N.W.A., Rapper Bally Baby, rapper Dereal G Money, rapper Gecko, rapper Lil Pete, Rob Mitchell of Sixpence None the Richer, Roro of Another Bad Creation, Scott Reckenfield of Queensryche, singer and actress Yoshimi Iwasaki, singer Aurora Acnes, singer Carl Thomas, singer Danny Caliero. Singer and bassist Demos Rosas of Aphrodite's Child. Singer and guitarist Nadi Holder of Slade. Singer Hans Eric Husby of Turba Negro. Singer-songwriter Harry Nilsson. Singer Idalis De Leon of Seduction and also MTV VJ, no less. Singer Isaiah Morgan. Singer Michaelis Janet Saris. Singer Nadine Coyle of Girls Aloud. Singer Russell Hitchcock of Air Supply. Singer-songwriter Sergio Endrigo. Singer Steve Walsh of Kansas and also the group Streets. Singer Yao Sang. Songwriter Muff Winwood of the Spencer Davis Group. And violinist Julia Fisher. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 15th include composer Giovanni Battista Cinelli, who passed away in 1677 at the age of 67. Composer Louis-Claude Dacquin passed away in 1772 at the age of 77. Composer Brizio Petrucci passed away in 1828 at the age of 91. 
Composer Hans Gramstad passed away in 1839 at the age of 41. Composer Jacob Zuckcher passed away in 1865 at the age of 61. Composer Albert Grissar passed away in 1869 at the age of 60. Composer Johann Kronham passed away in 1875 at the age of 72. Composer Ferenc Erkel passed away in 1893 at the age of 82. Composer Richard Jenny passed away in 1895 at the age of 72. Composer Michel Gaston Girard passed away in 1920 at the age of 55. Composer Alfred Bruno passed away in 1934 at the age of 77. Pianist Alfred Cortat passed away in 1962 at the age of 84. Jazz guitarist John Wes Montgomery passed away from heart issues in 1968 at the age of 45. Saxophonist Art Pepper passed away from a stroke in 1982 at the age of 56. Composer Meredith Wilson passed away in 1984 at the age of 82. Composer Carlo Prosperi passed away in 1990 at the age of 69. The First Lady of Song, jazz singing legend Ella Fitzgerald, passed away from a stroke in 1996 at the age of 78. Composer Helen Sinclair Glatz passed away in 1996 at the age of 88. Composer Claire Grundman passed away in 1996 at the age of 83. Composer Leif Kaiser passed away in 2001 at the age of 83. Richard Bell of the group The Full Tilt Boogie Band passed away in 2007 at the age of 61. Composer Atia Sharara passed away in 2014 at the age of 92. Singer-songwriter Mighty Sam McLean passed away in 2015 at the age of 72. Roger Laverne of the group The Tornadoes passed away in 2015 at the age of 75. Composer Jacques Charpentier passed away in 2017 at the age of 83. Matt Guitar Murphy of the Blues Brothers Band passed away in 2018 at the age of 88. And opera and film director Franco Zifarelli passed away in 2019 at the age of 96. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 16th, when in 1971, Tupac Shakur was born. 